Career Day is the best. I never realized there were so many careers to choose from. Astronaut, pastry chef, dog catcher. Wow, every profession is represented here today, from the exciting to the... Yes, children, there may be a career for you in the exciting field of educational administration. Hello, Billy. Hello, Lydia. Interested in engineering? Engineering? Shouldn't you be at the teacher booth, Mrs. Snodgrass? Every member of the teaching staff is squeezed into that booth, Billy. Fortunately, I'm educated in a number of different fields. Law, biology, engineering, lion taming, <laughs> Australian rules rugby, to name just a few. <laughs> How about a little demonstration? This is the river in its pristine state. There's tremendous power in that water. Power which we can harness for our own use. Oh, I know all about the awesome power of water and how it can be used for good and evil. I read Hydro Boy comics, you know. Here we've interrupted the natural flow of the river. But all that water has to go somewhere. Hey, a waterfall. Precisely. Now, we can use that falling water to drive a mill wheel or a modern hydroelectric power plant. And now that we have power, we can build a town. Sure hope that's a strong dam. Oh, it has to be. If it isn't... Wow. Dentistry, carpentry, law! You call those careers? If the school had allowed me to set up my booth, I could have shown them a real profession. Villainy! But they smugly refused my request for an exhibit. Now let's see how smug they are when I magnify the waters from the engineering display and flood the school! Defense? Didn't you already do the flood the school thing? Come to think of it, I have. Well, I don't want to repeat myself, so instead, I'll expand the model solar system by the astronomy booth and... Darn it! Uh, I could play havoc with the model weather systems at the meteorological exhibit. Uh oh I did that one too. Confound my genius intellect! I'm too devilishly clever for my own good. This will require some thought. Hmm. Maybe I'll transform the faculty into giant hunters! <laughs> okay, maybe not. Hey, Marcus. Where have you been? Oh, uh, I was at the computer science booth helping identify the flaws in their software programs. Where's Ruby? Uh, hi, Ruby. You look taller. Don't tell anyone, but I'm wearing my mom's high heels. I want it to look my best for the acting booth. Great news, by the way. The guy at the booth said I'd be perfect for the role of the kid standing beside the kid standing behind the other kid near the cereal bowl in his next TV commercial. Ow! Huh? <gasps> I think these shoes are defective. Morning, kids. Did you come by to learn more about a career in sanitation engineering? Yeah, yeah, awesome. yeah of course. Right. Well, behold the arsenal in the war on chaos. I've got tools for fixing things, cleaning things, and a veritable cornucopia of urinal cakes. This huh? is a trap. It's found under sinks, toilets, and other plumbing. Now, you're probably asking yourself, why does it bend? Wouldn't it drain better if the pipe was straight? Actually, I was thinking... The answer is no! This trap is your shield. There are lots of nasty things living in sewers. Rats, germs, sewer gas. They can be poisonous or corrosive. But a little bit of water contained in this trap will keep all those things from coming up to get you. Great. Of course, the problem with a trap is that it traps other stuff, too. And that's when you get a clog. It can back up the outflow, which can be pretty disgusting in a bathroom. <laughs> which is why I Look, use... they're opening up the rodeo yeah. clown booth. All right. Hey, wait up. Uh... I'd like to hear what you have to say, Buford. That's nice of you, Marcus, but let's face it. This display, it was a bad idea. 
What kid in their right mind would find my job interesting? But, Buford, you have an important job. Did you realize you really hurt Buford's feelings? We did? He, he walked off while he was still talking to you. Well, we didn't mean to hurt his feelings, Marcus. It's just that being a janitor isn't very... Uh... Interesting. It, it's kind of... Gross. Well, it may be gross, but it's an important job. Just imagine what the world would be like if no one picked up the trash or unclogged the plumbing. Hmm. What are you doing? Imagining a world full of trash and clogged plumbing. No, I mean, what are you doing looking through these personal ads? You're not looking for a <coughs> companion, are you? Well, I'm not getting any younger, Phantom. Maybe it's time to settle down. I mean, I can't be your sidekick for the rest of my life. What are you talking about? Why else would I give a rat enhanced intelligence and the power of speech? Do somebody sounds jealous? Jealous? Me? You oh, ridiculous! Seeking good-looking, muscular professional. Hmm. Next. Seeking intelligent fellow. Next. Hmm. No, oh, desperate. Seeking anyone. Sounds promising. I suggest we go apologize to Buford. Oh, well, uh, actually, you three should apologize and I'll come along for support. Marcus, I like Buford, but his job is really icky. I bet if he had a choice, he wouldn't even want his job. Cleaning sewers and spending half your day in the basement with all those rats? Ugh, only a crazy person would want to work underground. What did she say? I work underground and I'm not crazy, am I, Raticus? No. Uh, crazy? Crazy? <laughs> Uh, misdemeanor, have Buford look into the air conditioning, please. It's making that noise again. Uh oh, what did we do to make Earl mad this time? Whoa. Ah! We're in a sewer. Ew! Ah! Ow! Crummy shoes. Ah! <gasps> Ruby, wait up. Sorry, Phantom. I'm just so, so happy. I finally found her. The rat of my dreams. What? Uh, I hate sewers. They're full of slime and muck and all the alligators people flush down their toilets. Oh, Ruby, that's just an urban myth. There are no alligators in... <laughs> Smell, it's worse. Much worse. Hey, guys. Oh, Fred. What kind of a sandwich is that? A BLT. Bacon, lettuce, and tomato? No. Bratwurst, Limburger, and tongue. Mm, the Limburger's extra old. Uh, according to my mini mega mind, we're in a labyrinth. Amazed. You mean we could be wandering through these tunnels forever? Uh, not if that alligator gets us. <laughs> Left. Quick, Fred, give me your sandwich. Oh, now you want a bite. Ugh. I mean, all I want is a bloodthirsty, man-eating creature with half a brain. Is that too much to ask? Oh, Raticus, I think the toilet is backed up again. Actually, it's my new cologne, Phantom. Yeah, how do I look? Ridiculous. 
Thanks, Phantom. Wish me luck. You're making a mistake. She'll break your heart. You'll be sorry! Oh, Phantom, you're so overprotective. Overprotective? How dare you insinuate I actually care? Run off and get married. See if I care. I will find myself a new sidekick. I've been thinking. We're stuck in a sewer, right? Well, who knows more about sewers than any of us? No, not Fred. Buford. We need to find Buford. He can help us. Do they actually think consulting a janitor will help them? <laughs> They're doomed to wander this endless network of sewers while I, the Phantom, and my new sidekick, Cockroachicus, revel in their misery. Fear not! I'll enhance your intelligence, give you the power of speech, and make you a true and able villain's assistant! But first, why don't we dramatically accelerate the natural decomposition processes that take place in a sewer? <coughs> why is your mini mega mind making that noise? <coughs> it's detected sewer gas, toxic levels, <coughs> and rising! Come on! <coughs> Gassy smell is getting worse. Sorry, that was me. <laughs> uh oh, dead end. We're doomed. Marcus! Ah! Oh, yeah. he's a goner. Money, guys, it's a trap. A trap? A plumbing trap. It'll save us from the gas. <sighs> what did he say? He said, you're next. Ah! Breathe again. Lift, Lift off! Marcus, how did you figure this out? <gasps> By listening to Buford. He told us all about traps and their ability to act as a barrier to gas. Really? That's pretty cool. Well, I guess there's a lot more to Buford's job than we realized. Well, we're safe in here. <laughs> oh, you think so, do you? I wonder how long we should wait for that gas to pass. Finished hot dog. Anyone? Did you tell me what you happen to know where? I'm looking for a pretty rat. Yeah, hi there. And, uh, did anyone ever tell you you have the most uh, the, the beautiful beady eyes? Yeah, could you repeat that last part? I haven't spoken rat in a while. Pathetic, even by rat standards. Uh, according to the mini mega mind, this is the top of the stairs. Then it's our only way down. So, uh, this is your place. It's, uh, homey. Uh, no thanks. I, uh, ate. Uh, but by the way, these are for you. <laughs> While you're enjoying the flowers, why don't I help you with this box of chocolates? Yeah, I hope you're not allergic to nuts. No! Get away! Stop! Boy, your family has really refined taste. Those chocolates were imported from Canada. So, what do you do around here for fun? Boy, I guess it's true what they say. You can never go home. And you can never come back here either, you ungrateful ingrate. 
Now what are they up to? Hi, Buford. Hi, guys. Uh, Buford? We're, uh, really sorry about the way we behave. You were just trying to show us what your job was all about. And we didn't give you the respect you deserved. Oh, I don't blame you for not being interested. Why would you want to learn about plumbing when you could be learning about being an astronaut or a rodeo clown? But what you taught us about plumbing traps saved our lives today. No, really? Really. And now we're hoping you might be able to help us out again. Well, sure. What would you like to know about? Sump pumps, clogs, ratcheting? That's it. Create a clog. If we clog the sewers, we could stop the flow of sewage and maybe even force it back on Uro. Hey, I'm an expert on clogging. I've clogged the plumbing at home more times than I can count. Really? How? Well, first, I need to eat a really big meal. Okay, I've heard enough. Buford, why don't you tell us about clogs? Well, clogs happen when something that's not water-soluble, in other words, that won't dissolve, gets caught in a pipe. Then, other things get caught on that, and pretty soon, the water has nowhere to go <gasps> but back. Kind of like a dam. Buford, you just helped us out big time. You're the best. Ah, oh, come on, the best. I mean, really. <laughs> you really think so? I don't think this is gonna work out. We're too different. I have enhanced intelligence and the power of speech, and you, uh, don't. We don't have much in common, and I get the feeling your dad doesn't like me. <sighs> so, I guess this is goodbye. <laughs> I hope we can still be friends. Whoa! We need something big enough to stretch across a tunnel, but light enough to lift. Any ideas? Ah! Ta-da! So, you decided to come back. I realized I don't really need a girlfriend. Because I have a best friend, Phantom. Oh, best friend? Ah! Please! I'm afraid you're not even my sidekick anymore. I've replaced you with... Now, where did that fiendishly clever new sidekick wander off to? <gasps> All right, you have your old job back. Now watch. I'm going to increase the water flow and flood the tunnels completely. <laughs> How long will this hold? Long enough to create a backup. In theory. Sounds like Earl's turned on the tabs. <laughs> Look, just like Buford said, it's trapping other stuff. Yeah, but what happens if it gives? Uh, you might want to come up here just in case. It's only a matter of time before that dam breaks and they are swept away! Oops. What does oops mean? Oops, as in I kind of wished I'd remembered to close that hatch on the way down. Whoa! Rabbit has helped me turn off the water pressure! This thing is stuck! Uh-oh! <laughs> I got a call from that acting scout. He decided to go with someone else. Turns out I was too tall for the role. I received job offers from two different software companies, but our parents made me turn them down. They think I'm too young to be a corporate vice president. Well, I'd say career day was pretty memorable. Morning, Buford. Morning, kids. Just trying to freshen this place up a bit. Gone through a whole case of air freshener, and the school still smells kind of funky. Mm -hmm. What is that? It's called floral air. Oh, that stuff reeks. <laughs> you know, kids, sometimes this job ain't all glamour. Maybe not, but it's a very important job all the same. And nobody does it better than you, Buford. 
Another one for the files of Flying Rhino. This is great, Phantom. Just like old times. Less talking, more 